Researchers estimate children and teens are half as likely to catch COVID-19 as people who are over the age of just 20. Now, this is according to a new modeling study published in the journal Nature Medicine. In addition, researchers say that clinical symptoms manifest only in around 21% of 10 to 19 year olds. Pretty incredible study right here. And join us now to discuss these findings is Dr. Stephen Hotze from the Hotze Health and Wellness Center in Houston, Texas. Doctor, thank you so much for talking with us tonight. My pleasure to be here, Ginger. All right, so the study- to you from Texas. Yes, well, welcome, Texas. Uh, the study is very clear. People under the age of 20 aren't even at a high or moderate risk. So what do you attribute this low, very low risk to? Well, it has to do with stem cells in the body. Stem cells are those omnipotent cells, the pluripotent cells that our bodies make. We have a lot of them when we're younger. And they decline, they modulate the immune system. They decrease inflammation. They help us be resilient when we're young. You know, who lives longer, young people or old people? Well, it's the young people that are out. They're going to live their whole lives. The people that get this disease are not the average person on the block. As a matter of fact, in Texas, I'll just tell you Texas numbers, and they're true, 99.996 of all Texans have not died. 4% have died. 50% of those people live in nursing homes, and they're over 80 years of age. As people age, their immune systems decline. We get a host of health problems. You've heard them talk about the comorbidities, the heart disease. I'm talking about congestive heart failure, emphysema, chronic obstructive lung disease, kidney problems, diabetes, overweight. All these things are predisposing conditions that leave your immune system compromised. People that have a compromised immune system get sick, and when they get sick, they often get severe illnesses and die. In the nursing homes, this is Texas, the difference, no difference in California. We have 180,000 deaths a year. Every year in nursing homes and in hospices, 60,000 people die. We have 40,000 people die in nursing homes every year in Texas. That seems like a lot of people out of 180,000 deaths. That's almost one fourth of all the people that die, die in nursing homes. Is it a surprise that all these people are dying in nursing homes? No because they go to nursing homes because they're so debilitated they can no longer be taken care of home. And the average person in a nursing home lives two or two and a half years, so we shouldn't be shocked. What does that mean for the rest of us? If we have healthy immune systems, we ought to be back to work. I've been an advocate from day one about herd immunity. Forget all this stuff about masks, social distancing, get out, get together. Some people are gonna contract the virus. It's like a flu for the average person. It's nothing more than a sore throat and a cough congestion for a few days. For kids, they don't even have symptoms. So build herd immunity. They wanna wait, they want everybody to stay home so they have to force a vaccination on us. I'd rather get herd immunity the old fashioned way. Like I got, he got it when I got the measles when I was a kid or the chicken pox. We just got, in fact, we used to have chicken pox parties. You know, everybody got the chicken pox. That's what you did for the week. And, that, and we had a family of eight, so mom made sure everybody got it all at the same time. Yeah, so I that, mean, you, you bring up some great points because we closed down these schools and then there was, uh, there was none of these kids interacting and building up any kind of immunity. So was closing down the right. schools even necessary in your medical no. opinion? In my opinion, no. This has been the biggest fraud, and I said this from the get-go, perpetrated upon the American public ever. Now, I know this started studying this back in January and February. I looked at all the statistics in Singapore and in the South Korea and Taiwan. They did not lock down and they had low incidence of death and the virus spread. They built herd immunity. They're doing the same thing in Scandinavia right now back and back in Sweden. Right now in Europe, they've opened up all the schools. The kids don't get the problem. They don't need to be wearing masks. They're crying out loud, kids will be kids. This year we had a bad flu epidemic. Some of the schools, about one out of every three of every four kids back in uh, in December and January were out with the flu. They got it. Nobody thought anything of it. We get the flu every year. 50,000 people die every year. Nobody closes down churches, businesses, quarantines, people wears masks. What we've created here, Ginger, is a whole nation of a bunch of germaphobes. And everybody needs to realize we come in contact with trillions of germs, viruses, and bacteria every day. We have an immune system. If it's healthy, we've lived with them. I'm 69, I've been, I've been a doctor for 44 years. I've been around bacterial and viral pneumonia, bacterial and viral meningitis, bacterial and viral, viral dysentery, staph infections all over the body, strep infections, boils. When I did emergency room work, I didn't wear a mask. I had eight kids, I went home, I didn't quarantine myself. We never got sick. Why is it this COVID virus all of a sudden is the worst thing since the bubonic plague? 
It's not. Grow up, everybody. Put on your big britches. The people that have susceptibility, stay at home. Don't go to church. Everybody else, go out and live your life normal instead of destroying the economy and creating a bunch of germaphobes in our country. That's what I recommend. Yeah, what and about... Way, let, me mention, let, me, let me mention one other thing. What you, uh, you haven't heard this from any of the health providers. Build up your immune system. Eat healthy. Cut out all the junk food everybody eats, all the simple carbs with the sugars. Also, take vitamins. Remember this. You were in, you were in school. You grew up knowing this. A, B, C, D, and Z, A, B, C, D. Vitamins A, B, C, D, and take zinc. If you do that, you can build up your immune system. And that's what I do at the Hoetze Health and Wellness Center. We help people strengthen their immune system and get their energy levels up. If you've got a healthy immune system and you've got energy, you're going to be healthy. You don't need to worry about a virus. Dr. Hoetze, you are a breath of fresh air. Before I let you go, who's uh, in the mural behind you? Who's in that picture? That is Winston Churchill as a I young knew hussar. It. I knew it. I went That's to Winston it. Churchill Junior High up in Sacramento, and I said, I know what that is. So I had to double check with you. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Be well. Everybody eat healthy. And uh, here's, a, here's an idea. If you feel like you're healthy enough to go outside, go outside. If you don't, stay home. Let us choose, right? There's a, there was right. a concept. All right. Dr. Hotsey, be well. Let's talk again soon. Thank you so much, Ginger. Thank you.